Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. Well, across eastern Oklahoma today, we've seen quite a bit of cloudiness, even a few showers and isolated thunderstorms rolling across the area. You notice Viper 2, though, across northeast Oklahoma over the last several hours, not experiencing any rainfall, even though we are seeing quite a bit of cloudiness still holding on to parts of the area. Down to the south and east of us, that's where we're still seeing a few showers, and you have to go way down into southeast Oklahoma to find that activity from Tallahena, now south of Poto, then extending over into western areas of Arkansas. And this activity will continue moving away over the next couple of hours, so it looks like most of the rainfall is finished here in eastern Oklahoma. How much rain did we see? Well, since midnight officially here in Tulsa, we only picked up 0 0.02 inches of rain out at the airport. Same story at Bixby, also in Inoli. You notice Haskell picked up about two tenths of an inch of rain. A little heavier amounts of rainfall as you move to the south and east across the southeastern half of eastern Oklahoma. That's where we saw the heaviest of the rains. Cookson picked up about a half an inch of rainfall. Worcester's picked up a third of an inch, a little over a third of an inch of rain at Tallahena, and Eufaula picked up about a quarter of an inch of rain. So southeast Oklahoma picking up heavier amounts of rain as we moved on through the morning into the afternoon. Outside right now, our Midtown Cam, as we're looking at I-44, the roads are dry right now in the Tulsa area as folks heading on home. You notice we're still seeing quite a bit of cloudiness. We're looking off to the east, but as you swing a little bit farther around to the north, you notice we are starting to see that clearing line now across north northern and northwestern parts of our viewing area, and that will continue to work its way slowly to the south and east over the next several hours. So even though we're seeing cloudy skies now, it will become partly cloudy and then mostly clear as we move on through the evening here in Tulsa. Over the last four hours, temperatures been holding steady in the upper 50s to around 60 degrees. We topped out around 60 a couple hours ago. Now back to 59. You notice that north-northeast wind currently at 9 miles per hour, making it feel a little bit cooler out there than the actual temperature. Well, temperatures for the most part are in the 50s across eastern Oklahoma, even over to western Arkansas. Take a look at Fayetteville and Harrison, Arkansas, only at 50 degrees. It's 56 right now in Joplin, 55 in Muskogee and Tahlequah, 54 in Eufaula and McAllister. And you notice out to the west, a little bit warmer this afternoon. Sunshine returned a little earlier today out in western and central Oklahoma. That allowed temperatures to warm into the low to mid 60s while we were stuck with the cloudiness here in eastern Oklahoma, barely reaching 60 degrees here in Tulsa. And you notice off to the south and east of us where they saw sunshine as well across central areas of Arkansas in advance of another front that moved across our area early this morning. Temperatures still running in the 60s to near 70 degrees. Now, as we take a look at future casts through the rest of the evening, the back edge of the cloudiness will slowly work its way from the northwest to the south and east by 6 o'clock this evening, right around the I-44 corridor. And as we move through the evening hours, we'll see that line of cloudiness continue to work its way to the south and east. So we'll see clear skies for tonight. You notice by 7 o'clock in the morning, maybe a couple of high cirrus clouds drifting into northern parts of our state. So mostly clear skies as we start our Tuesday morning. But it looks like any high cloudiness will swing on by very quickly, and we'll see mostly sunny skies for most of the day. So it'll start off very chilly, but we'll see a nice warm up as we move on through the afternoon. So tonight with the clear skies and light winds, just perfect conditions for temperatures to really drop off. 39 degrees here in town. Area wide, we're going to drop into the 30s, as cold as 33 in Fayetteville, 34 degrees in Bartlesville. So you're going to need that coat tomorrow morning and also the kids out at the bus stop. Be tomorrow afternoon, looking great. Sunshine out there, upper 60s and lower 70s, so about 10 degrees warmer tomorrow. And we'll have yet another front move through tomorrow afternoon and evening, but it's going to move through dry. And in fact, we're going to see several fronts move through over the next seven days. You notice another one on Thursday is going to drop temperatures back to 60 for the high. Then we'll see temperatures back into the upper 60s and low 70s. Another front on Saturday, yet another one Monday night into Tuesday, but the chance of rain fairly slim over the next seven days. A little cool in the morning, but we can definitely handle the afternoons. Those low 70s look good.